Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is the last part of KGSB scholarship program. Today we will go through application forms, university departments and university's overviews. So if you're interested in this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your bell notification so you won't miss my new videos and don't forget to put thumbs up. Before further ado, let's get started. I will put all the links where you can download these files in the description box so don't forget to check those links now let's just look how the application form looks like so first page of the application form is basically just checklist page you just print out this checklist when you collect all your documents so that it will be easy for you to check if you have this document or you don't and if you don't you just work on those documents this is the best checklist ever to be organized and that you don't forget any documents the first form is basically information about you about your background background is schools where you have been if you visited korea and so on and universities that you attended basically you just fill out your name your country date of birth high school language abilities if you have topic level you just write your level or if you have English proficiency test as IELTS or TOEFL you write them too then if you have any awards you can also feel free and write them don't worry and don't be shy just write everything that you have it will give you more chances to get in like it's more beneficial for you then choice of university major so basically you need to choose embassy track or university track and if you don't know what is embassy track and university i advise you to go and check these two videos and there you will understand what they mean okay and if you watched my part two video you already know that you need to choose three universities and in case of university track only one university and then you also need to write your departments majors and division of study then you need to write your recently attended school if you want to like if you studied i guess in undergraduate program and you want to apply for undergraduate program like as transfer or like from second year you cannot do it but you can do i guess from first year of undergraduate year then you need to fill your high school grade your five years of high school that's actually a lot to be honest next you need to write your list of recommenders and you need to have two or three different recommenders one person cannot write your two or three letters then previous visit to korea if you have ever been in korea just write it if you have ever received any scholarship awards from korea write it second form is personal statement and i think this is the most important statement like the most important form ever after your grades obviously you need to write it with your whole heart make it realistic but make it emotional so that the person who is reading your essays will feel you and feel your situation so please focus on this document too and in form to personal statement basically you need to focus on one two three four five five topics motivation with which you apply for this program family and education background significant experiences you have had risks you have taken and achievements you have made persons or events that have had a significant influence on you as a curricular activities such as club activities community service activities or work experiences or volunteering stuff if applicable describe awards you have received if you have any publications awards you can just write the history behind them i need to write your essays within two pages form three is your study plan what you gonna do during this program here you need to focus on first language study plan study plans to improve foreign language korean or english required for taking a degree course before and after you come to korea here you you need to just write like what you're gonna study will you be excited how you're gonna use this language and so on okay then goal of study and study plan goal of study and detailed study plan what you're gonna study and what you're interested in this program what major interests you a lot what you wanna learn and so on okay then future plan after study you just need to write your plan for future either you stay in korea and work in korea in korean companies 
or you pursue your master's program in Korea, like continue, or maybe after undergraduate you want to move to another country or you want to work in another country and so on, okay? Just focus on that. I think in one of my essays, like for university, in my future plan study, I wrote that I want to work with Marvel either as an actress or I don't know editor so yeah form 4 is recommendation letter your teacher your recommender should focus on this form they need to fill their information emails name la 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 and then write your recommendation letter and then form 5 is the application agreement you just need to check everything you have no choice just check everything because if you don't you can get in form six is your personal medical assessment you need to just check do you have any allergies yes if yes then write what type of allergies and from what if not then just no do you have any physical disabilities yet what are those no then no good for you and stuff this is not a big deal but when you get in and hopefully you get in you will go through serious medical checkup before going to korea you need to go to medical checkups prepare all your documents that you are not sick and so on okay okay and that's all for the application form this is actually the table for gpa conversion so you can just convert your gpa to 100 point scale in my part two i describe what grades you need to have to apply for this program like how smart you should be to apply for this program so you can just convert your gpa here are the contacts of korean embassies in all countries like all around the world the countries that actually participate in this program so just look for your country if you want to apply for embassy track and you don't know their emails or phone numbers here are those you can just take call email whatever you want context of university stuff if you want to apply through university track here are the contacts feel free to call them and email them kgsp made everything easy by providing all needed information easy peasy lemon squeezy now let's look at university departments basically this file is so good because you can go either to embassy track or university track and then find the university that you want to apply but if you don't know to which university you want to apply just go through all of them there are like about 200 universities let's just look at one university for example Ihwa Women's University and I actually did how to apply in details so for example let's look for a psychology major so here is the psychology major the department is psychology division is liberal arts and social science and it's fully taught in Korean 100% however there are some courses that are taught in English but not fully in English none of Korean universities teach fully in English so please know that too for example this one political science and international relations is taught 50 50 Korean and English so this is how you can actually check which departments are taught in English or in Korean now let's look at university overviews university overviews is basically just application guideline for specific university and I did actually a six university application process how to apply and I did interview with those international students that study in those universities so if you're interested in them you can just check them out like if you want to apply to those universities you can just check them make your life easier just to watch the video or you can easily just go and read the whole guideline so now let's just open Ihwa because we just talked about Ihwa and the application guideline is in both Korean and English in this guideline you just see what this university asks from you you can see the division and departments, majors and then what documents are needed for this school how you can apply and so on so these files are the most helpful files ever it's like everything is just in one file not in one file but like in three files because there is university overview university department and application form but this is the most convenient way on finding and figuring out what university you want and what university can provide you and so on and for the last i left just some q a's that i also downloaded from the site links in the description box you can just download them and read them i will just read 
three questions. Let's read the question about qualification. I have studied in Korea as an exchange student. Am I eligible for application to this program? Yes, you are eligible to apply. However, those with a high school diploma issued by a Korean high school are not eligible to apply. This is actually applies for me because I graduated Korean high school and unfortunately I cannot apply for this program which is the best scholarship program I have ever seen it's like the dream program to get in like I cannot apply second question is about application I actually got lots of questions about this specific topic so here it is the answer when is the deadline for application and where can I submit my application? Yeah, I got lots of questions about this. So here's two answers for Embassy and University Track. The application deadline and further instruction on document and submission will be decided by the Korean Embassy in your country. In your country. Please refer to the announcement from the Embassy. Although deadlines vary depending on the Embassy, the application is usually open throughout September or even until early October, one month of application time. And university track is also the same, but in this case, the application deadline and further instruction on document submission will be decided by the universities in Korea. So you will contact the university and ask them, specific university. But in general, for undergraduate program, the application starts in September and it goes throughout the September and early October. In case of postgraduate, it starts in February. So yes. And now let's look at the questions related to studies under scholarship. Those who are already studying or like, can you do something when you will get the scholarship? So here's interesting question. Can I be exempt from the Korean language program? If you submit a valid advanced level 5 or 6 on topic, you are exempt from the language program and must start your degree program in the first semester under GKS. Another benefit of having an advanced topic level is the Korean proficiency grant, which gives additional 100,000 won, which is $100, almost $100, each month to a scholar for the period of exam validity. So basically, if you have topic test and it lasts for two years, every month you will get about $100 just because you know the language and you have this test. Perfect, right? Right. So, yes, there are actually lots of questions. You can just go and download the files and read them yourself because I'm pretty sure that you also have similar questions as those. So that's all actually guys for this video. If you didn't watch part 1 and part 2 videos, I highly recommend you to go and watch them because you will get more information and you won't waste your time on going and reading everything yourself and having lots of questions. Oh my god, what is this? So just check them out, watch them, re-watch them. If you didn't understand, take note because this is the most perfect best scholarship ever and this is really serious and write notes contact embassies universities if you have any questions i can't give you answers to all your questions because i don't know much about this and i don't work in any admission office of any university or in this program stuff so i advise you to contact embassy or university or this scholarship program site links so yes thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notification so you won't miss my new videos and don't forget to put thumbs up so yeah wish you best of luck i hope you get in and i hope everything goes well thank you Bye bye